Hello, this is Bell's No Boy, and I'm going to teach you how you would get the stack goblet, like this, like that, like that. So, first thing, you would open your browser, mine's Firefox or Safari or Internet. Then, what you do it is you go to RocketDoc. Dot com. You will go to on the top of the website. I would say get add-ons. You click on that. I'll say something like Docklets. Then look for the stack Docklet right here. And you also want to make sure you downloaded something called WinRAR. On download.com, W I N R A R. So you would click download file and open it with WinRAR. And on your desktop, you would want to make a file called Stack Chocolate. So you would make a new folder. Oh, oh and just hold on. Okay. And you would name that folder Stack Docket. And after you finish that, pull up your WinRAR and drag the stack where it says stack docklet into that folder. So I'll just exit WinRAR and open your C or J drive. Mine's C because I have XP. Then program files and look for your rocket dock. Then you'll go to docklets. And I already have stack docklet in there, so I'm, I'm just going to tell you that you just drag it in, and that's what all you would do. And I'm going to tell you how you would use that. So, just hold on. We'll go to your rocket dock, and right click in open space, and when it says add item, on the bottom will say stack docklet. Uh, yeah, I'll say stack docklet. You click on it. It'll open a new icon, and it'll just be a little box that has an arrow pointing down. After you've done that, you would right click on it and click icon settings. And look for the folder you want it to be, wherever it is documents, shared documents, computer, C drive, B drive, whatever. And when you find the icon, you I mean the folder, then you will click the icon which you want it to be. You if you want it to be a recycle bin, you click recycle bin, it's your recycle bin. So make sure you click OK on the icon settings. And that's what all you would basically do. It's not really that hard to do it because it's just pretty easy to learn. So, and downloading any of this stuff will not give you a virus. I repeat, it will not give you a virus because I had this stuff for about a month now. Nothing slowed it down. So. All I gotta say is it's a good program and it helps you do stuff. So, so alright. And I'm signing out.